hey guys welcome to the video so in this video i saw an absolute amazing 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 fighter ship built on youtube built by 04 am i will attack his main channel down in the description he spent about 20 hours making and designing this bolt so i decided you know what due to 99 percent of the bolt is out of shroud equipment why not turn the uh, star eagle into the ship and see how it goes see how it looks as you guys can see i am building from my outpost but you can honestly use any ship trader where shroud equipment is available so let's get into it okay so as you all can see like here is the star eagle so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to tear the pieces apart we're going to tear the entire ship apart Okay, now that the ship is torn apart, we can start assemble the new ship. So first, what you want to do is you want to take any, any, any one by one. And then you just want to attach the landing gear. So we are going to use the standard landing gear that is used by the Star Eagle, which is the A2 Lander 11 landing gear port. Then once this is finished, you can remove the one by one and then take any two by one placed in front. And then we are just going to duplicate the landing gear. So you're going to press control G to duplicate. And then just place two like this. Go to the other side, duplicate, place it like this. And there we have the landing gear all finished now we are going to place any two by one in the center like this and then we are going to take this one by one and we're going to make the variant a companion way the companion way we're going to place on top of this we are going to remove the two by one and then we are going to take our viking cp220 cockpit and we are going to place it in front of the companion way and then what we are going to do is we are going to remove the standard landing gear that we got with the star eagle and we are going to replace it with where is it where is it where is it where is it where is it, where is it? yeah we are going to replace it with the hope 5 landing gear then this is, you can only find at hope tech it is absolutely amazing landing gear so we are going to take this we are just gonna flip it oh. sorry not landing gear man yo i'm special i am super 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 special ignore me ignore me ignore me we I think I'm blind. I honestly 100% think I am blind. Like, why can't I find that now, man? Base. There we go. There we go. Base, not gear. So, we're going to go with the Hope 4 landing bay. And we're going to place the landing bay underneath at the back like this there we go there we go sorry i'm just a little bit slow brain is not not working it is still very early in the morning and then we are gonna replace this normal connect pro docker top with the demos docker uh 
We're gonna use the Damon's Docker. And we are going to flip it so it is a bottom docker. Then we are going to place it this side. And then on the right hand side, we are going to take one of the 30T Holo cargo. You can honestly use any cargo you want, but I'm trying to use the most amount of parts of the Fire Eagle or of the Star Eagle for this build. So we are going to use the 30T Holo cargo that is with the Star Eagle. And now we're going to take two two by ones. We're going to make this first one here. We're going to make it the control station. We're going to take the second one. We're going to place it up here. We're going to make this the workshop. Now what we want to do is we want to take another two by one. I'm going to place it here on the left hand side like this and we are going to make this an all-in-one berth and then on the right hand side we are going to literally just duplicate this one move it to the right hand side and this is going to be our science lab as you can see the build is quite fairly decent now and now we can put in the reactor and the graph drive at the back we can use any graph drive and reactor that we can because we are going to make this a c class and the graph drive and reactor that comes with the star eagle is only a class so i am going to remove the graph drive and i'm gonna choose the highest one i currently have which is going to be the ng3 the NG340 graph. And then we are going to go with the reactor. I'm going to place the reactor next to the graph drive. And I'm going to just use the biggest one I currently have available. which is going to be the SV30 Shared Flow Reactor. You are going to need Pilot Rank 4 and Starship Design Rank 2 to be able to use this reactor. As you can see there. And then for the engines, we are going to keep the engines that we got with the Star Eagle, which is the SA4330 engines. And we are just going to duplicate this. Because I don't think they... Wait, they, wait, they is, is. I'm, I'm just special. Ignore me. I'm just very, very, very special. We can just remove this reactor. Where is the engine? Here he is. I'm going to place this here and then we are just going to click we're going to move this together one down there like that and then we're going to move this one as well one down there like that there is your engines already set up now just to make it a little bit beautifuler we are going to place the Strout engine mounts which is uh, just a normal structure just for the pretty of it just need to search it now boom 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 Strout engine mount where are you but where are you where are you Strout engine mount there we go and we're just going to duplicate this to here if you want if you do not like this you can just move this up to fit like that move this up fit like that And then just to fill this up, we are going to use the Stroud braking engine as well, just to give it that nice round, 
rounds off. Sorry, I'm trying to read here. Searching for it. So here we go. Stroud breaking engines. We're just going to duplicate and paste it here. And then now we come to give the ship a little bit better shape. We are going to use these stroud cap ace that you got with the star eagle so we're going to use this first one and we are going to flip it like this and we are going to place it down here like that and then we are going to use the other one just flip it and we are going to place it on this side like that and then we are going to use the strout cap b do i have a strout cap b here it does not look like it doesn't look like I have a Stroud Cap B, so we are going to search for that in the structural area. Stroud Cap B. And what we are going want to do is we want to put it just behind here. We're going to duplicate it, we're going to flip it, and we're going to place it here. And now we have two left, we're going to use this. We're going to flip it. We're going to place it here. On the front of... Oh. There we go. On the front of the ship. And as you can see, there aren't any more Stroud Cap A's left. So we are going to duplicate this. We are going to flip it. And we're just going to place it... Oh, not yet. Not yet, not yet. But we're going to duplicate it and we're going to place it just here for now. Just flip, flip, flip. There we go. We're just going to place it here for now. And then we're going to just use one of these Stroud engine braces. And we are going to put it in the middle here between... Just behind the breaker engines on top of the one by one companionway. And now we are going to go with the shower crawling 1LA. And we're going to place it in front here. And we're going to take the 1LA PT and we're going to place it on the front here. No, it's, it's, it's a little bit up. It's a little bit up. So this one must just turn. Uh, like this and then we're going to place these on top of that use this one just turn it I'm going to place it here we're going to place this one on top here and then we are going to duplicate these just going to swap it I'm going to place it in front of there Swap it, place it in front of there. And there the ship is almost, almost, almost completely finished. As you can see, there are a few parts of the Star Eagle that we are not going to use. Now we are just going to use some windows. Just going to place some windows in. I'm going to take these two windows that we got here that we removed from... the star eagle and we're gonna place it here a little bit up there we go on that side and we're gonna do the same on the left hand side place you there i'm gonna place you there and what we can do is we can remove this shield generator because we are not going to use that. We are going to remove these fuel, the HE3 shield tanks as well. 
duty we are gonna place the fuel tanks i'm just go down i'm gonna place new fuel tanks on this side so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the fuel tanks and we are gonna use the 500 hft tanks that we are going to be placing on both sides just press Control g to move them <coughs> And then what you want to do is, <coughs> sorry, you want to go to the cargoes, you want to get this shielded cargo, the 200 cm ballistic shielded cargo hold. You want to take it, you want to swap it, and you want to place it here at the back, you want to press Control G, swap it and place it on this side and then over here in the middle we are gonna use these nova wing ports just remove the missiles for now we're gonna use the nova we are uh, the nova wing ports and we're gonna place one there we're going to place the other one there and then what we want to do is when you want to take the infiltrated c sco2 missile launcher and you want to place it on the side of the nova wings and as you noticed there were suppressors with the uh, um with the star eagle as well and we're going to take these suppressors because due to the you need starship design rank 4 if you do not have starship design rank 4 you won't be able to use this suppressors or get the suppressors otherwise so what you want to do is want to take the suppressors and we want to place it in the center of this of the nova wings like so and then you want to take the IR pulse lasers. You want to place it on the top of the wings here. Like that. And if you want, instead of adding more weapons, you can add the cargo, add two more and just cancel that add two more of the cargo so you can take this one cargo other cargo that is left and you can place it in the front here and you can just duplicate it wait why don't you want to duplicate Or you can just delete that one and then you can use you can put in two more of these and if you want you can delete this one as well and replace the cargo that you got with the star eagle and replace it with that and that will give you a crap 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 ton of cargo and then we are going to put in the shield. The shield that we are going to use is we are going to use the <coughs> sorry. We're going to use the assurance SG2000 shield, which is gonna come on top of here. And then that is the bolt. Then we can remove all of these parts that we have left of the star eagle because we are not going to use them this is extra part that we have left and there is the bolt like this ship is absolutely amazing then we can just put in a nice color scheme we can make it completely black with my color scheme with the blue oh it must help if i click uh, accept hey we make it quickly black with the blue and there you go there is the ship bolt that we converted from the star eagle as you guys see there are only a few parts that is needed extra 
that the star eagle doesn't have but here is the complete complete conversion from the star eagle to this amazing 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 ship build that is given by 04 am once again the description will his description will be tagged down his link will be tagged down in the description i hope you guys enjoyed this video see you in the next one